Welcome to the Web of Life podcast. I'm your host, Cody Alexander. Today, our episode will provide you with an opportunity to practice journeying for yourself. If you've listened to any of the previous episodes in this journey series, you may already have a sense of what journeying is, and you will have heard some insights from the Web of Life community into the nature of this practice. If this is your first time listening to this podcast, I would encourage you to go listen to a few of those earlier episodes to get a sense of what we'll be getting into today. But if you decide to stay and continue listening here, that's fine too. I will be providing some guidance and offering my own perspectives on journeying before providing a soundscape for you to journey with on your own. A bit about me before we get started. I've been a member of the Web of Life community for about five years now. I began my engagement with Web of Life by participating in a course led by the church's founder, Quinn, which was focused on ancestral patterns. The course was called DNA Warriors, now known as DNA Transformers. This training course opened me up to a method of practice I once viewed with skepticism. After my first foray into journey work, I'd found great value in the practice. Immense wisdom would come through me as I developed connections with my spirit allies, nature beings, and my own ancestry. Animism and its associated practices had given me a name and framework for how I already viewed the world, and it allowed me to understand my own experience of life a little bit better. Since then, I've completed two other training courses with Quinn, Soul Medic and Spirit Bridge. I'm currently a minister in training with Web of Life as well. Outside of my training with Web of Life, I'm a certified coach in elemental rhythm breathwork, and I'm a voice actor. Since my first time engaging with Web of Life, I have become an avid journeyer. Journeying has been the most tangibly transformative practice for me in many, many ways. So, what is journeying? Journeying is a practice that involves using continuous rhythm to change our brainwaves and get ourselves into a trance or dreamlike state while keeping awareness on what's playing out in our mind. For some journeyers, the experience feels like a lucid dream, with vibrant, colorful visions appearing in their mind's eye. Some journeys are experienced more so through physical sensations. Some may come in the form of sounds, and others offer a sense of energy or presences. Every journey is as unique as every practitioner. It can be helpful to set an intention for your journey, or maybe you have a question in mind. Engaging the imagination is also helpful. The imagination is the channel through which the journey experience comes to us. Be curious about what's coming up for you in your imagination during the process. We're going to do this practice using the rhythms of our breath and some percussion instruments. Listen intently to the sounds. Feel your breath gently moving in and out, and trust whatever it is that arises for you. Before we begin, ensure your environment is safe and conducive to your practice. Be comfortable. You can lay down or sit up, have some water with you, and be certain you'll have some uninterrupted time to really be present with the sounds. If you have headphones, wear them. This practice is potent in darkness. Darkness allows us to see more clearly behind closed eyes. There's no wrong way to do this. Just follow your feelings. When you're ready, we'll begin. With closed eyes, begin by placing some attention on the feeling of your breath moving in and out of the body. Just noticing the sensations in your body as air moves in and out. We're not changing anything about the breath here, just allowing the body to move with the breath, following it in and out. Watch the belly gently rise and fall. The rib cage expands as your breath becomes more deep with a calm, relaxed body. Gently placing some awareness on the sense of rhythm always present and characteristic of breathing. This rhythm 
is an aspect of the greater cycles in nature. The planet's movements, the seasons, the ebb and flow of the tide, fruiting, flowering, and hibernation. With each inhale, draw your awareness deeper and deeper inward and listen intently. Keep your focus on the rhythms and with your mind's eye, look out behind closed eyes. Holding your intention in your heart, be curious about what you can see, what wants to be seen by you, what wants to be heard by you, what wants to be felt by you. Do not discount any part of your experience here. In this type of work, all aspects of the experience hold the potential for value and importance, no matter how small they may seem. You're safe here. Trust yourself and trust the process.
slowly, you can bring attention back to your body. Invite some movement into the fingers and toes. And when you're ready, open your eyes. You may want to write down or draw something that stood out from your experience. Or just sit with the feelings that came up for you in that journey. Offer some gratitude to whatever it was that you noticed. However, seemingly small, seemingly insignificant. Again, I'll say that all experiences in this type of practice have the potential for great value and deep, deep importance. You may come back and use this audio for your own journey anytime you like. I want to offer some deep gratitude to Quinn Red Mountain for the beautiful sound she provided for us to journey with today. Thank you. Web of Life is an animist church located in Tucson, Arizona, which is Odom and Pascuayaki land and shares digital space with people around the world. We strive to share our animist understanding with all earth honoring people and beyond. And as members of this Earth community of interwoven lives, we commit to contributing to the wellness of the whole because we all belong. If you'd like to journey on your own, you can find audio opportunities to do so at weboflifeanimists.com under offerings. Live offerings are also available. Check our website calendar of live events for details. Thank you for your time and attention. We're looking forward to our next encounter.